हेलो फ्रेंड्स हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द फॉर्मूला फॉर मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ सम प्लेन फिगर्स लेट अस गेट स्टार्टेड इट इज द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया फॉर्मूला फॉर प्लेन फिगर्स it means the moment of inertia chapter we have in that we are going to use some formula and that formula will belong only for plane figures so that we would be saying in this video so let us get started with the first plane figure which is a rectangle now here we have a rectangle whose width is b and depth is d now for this rectangle the first thing is we should know where is the centroid and we know that centroid will be exactly at the half of depth there will be x axis and at the half of width there will be y axis and wherever x and y intersect at that point we are going to have the centroid so now the moment of inertia which i am writing it will be for all the figures located at the centroid that is first i'll write down mi about x axis so moment of inertia is denoted by mi about x axis for a rectangle it is i x x is equal to bd cube by 12 this is the formula next mi about y axis that is i y y is equal to since the y axis is cutting the width that is also another way of remembering the formula that if you are considering x axis and x axis is parallel to b so you can take b directly it is cutting d so make cube of d that is another way of remembering the formula similarly for i y y as i can see it is parallel to d so i'll write down d as it is then it is cutting or passing through b so here i have b cube another way of remembering the formula so this is the mi of a rectangle next if the rectangle is hollow then for hollow rectangle now this is a hollow rectangle having material here now for this hollow rectangle i'll mark the dimensions inner width is small b outer width is capital b inner depth is small d outer depth 
is capital D. Now, when I want to find the moment of inertia, I need to know its x and y axis. So, x axis for the hollow rectangle will, will be exactly at half of capital D and y axis will be at the half of capital B. So, here I have x and y axis and at their intersection we have the centroid. So, now I will write the moment of inertia formula at the centroidal axis x and y. So, therefore, m i about x axis is given by i x x is equal to the formula is really simple as we have seen in case of a rectangle it was capital B D cube by 12. So, here we have again capital B D cube minus from the outer rectangle we are subtracting the inner rectangle by using the moment of inertia formula. So, for outer rectangle about x axis it is capital B D cube by 12 for inner rectangle it will be small b d cube by 12. So, here is the formula capital B d cube minus small b d cube divided by 12. Next m i about y axis is given by i y y will be Previously, we have seen for a rectangle i y y was capital D B cube by 12. So, here we have capital D B cube minus small d b cube. So, from outer rectangle moment of inertia, I am subtracting inner rectangle moment of inertia formula. So, this is the moment of inertia formula for hollow rectangle. Next, suppose we have a circle for a circle where its diameter is capital D here we have x and y axis and wherever they intersect we get the centroid and the formula is m i about x axis is i x x is equal to pi by 64 capital D raised to 4. So, now I have written m i moment of inertia about x axis for a circle at x and y the distances are same. So, even m i will remain same. So, whatever m i I have written about i axis same will be the value about y y for a circle it is same moment of inertia about x x is same as moment of inertia about y y that is pi by 64 capital D raised to 4. Then If we have hollow circle for a hollow circle, the outer diameter is capital D, inner diameter is small d. Here is the x axis and here the y axis wherever they intersect at that point there is centroid. So, now I will say that m i about x axis is given by i x x is equal to 
in the previous case we had written it as for a circle it was pi by 64 capital D raised to 4 for a circle here we have hollow circle so from the outer circle moment of inertia we will subtract the inner moment of inertia so it is pi by 64 capital D raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 next even for hollow circle the mi about y axis will be same as x axis and the formula is i y y is equal to pi by 64 capital D raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 next after hollow circle we have a triangle here we have a triangle whose base is B and height is capital H now for this triangle its y axis would be passing here and x axis will be at a distance of 1 by 3 of capital H and wherever they intersect at that point we have the centroid in case of circle we have three different formulas of mi first is about the base this is i can call it as base ab next is about the centroid xx and then there is apex i'll call it as pq so three different set of mi formula so first mi about base it is IAB is equal to BH cube by 12 next MI about apex that is IPQ is equal to BH cube by 4 then at last mi about the centroid that is ixx is equal to bh cube by 36 next after the triangle The next figure is a semicircle that is sixth one your semicircle is having radius capital R and this is the y axis x axis will be located at distance 4 r upon 3 pi wherever x and y intersect we know that point is called as the centroid so i'll write down since mi about the x axis is given by ixx is equal to 0.11 r is to 4 this is for a semicircle next mi about the y axis is given by 
here we have this y axis and for that i y y is equal to pi by 8 into r raised to 4. So here is the formula of moment of inertia about y axis. Next after completing the semicircle then the last figure which we have it is a quarter circle. And for a quarter circle, here also the radius is capital R. X axis is located at distance 4R upon 3 pi. Y axis is located at distance 4R upon 3 pi. And wherever they are intersecting, at that point we have the centroid and therefore I will say that Mi about x axis is given by the formula is Ixx is equal to half of this value 0 0.112 that is divided by 2 r is to 4 and since we know that a quarter circle is symmetric about an axis which is inclined at 45 degree this is the axis of symmetry AOS for the quarter circle so the MI formula of IXX will remain same on IYY as well that is since 4R upon 3 pi this location is also same so here we have seen the formula of moment of inertia for quarter circle and with this we complete this formula list of moment of inertia for plane figures